still showed up and they stayed and Donald Trump is a liar. And then we have Nikki Haley yesterday making the rounds, doing some interviews and doing what she always does. And I heard that she wanted to speak at MSG and the Trump campaign pushed her aside and said, no, instead they put racist comics and idiots up there making despicable statements about Puerto Rico, about Jews, about black people. And now all of a sudden, Nikki Haley, once again, days before the election, thinks that this hateful rhetoric is going to stop. So when you look at these things, it has got to be a story of addition. This is not a time to have anyone criticize Puerto Rico or Latinos. This is not a time for them to get overly masculine with this bromance thing that they've got going. 53% of the electorate are women. Women will vote. They care about how they're being talked to and they care about the issues. They need to remember that. This is a time of discipline and this is a time of addition. Yeah, discipline. Nikki, you imbecile with no backbone, you despicable person with no backbone, a man who went after your husband for serving, gone after your family, nicknames for you, doesn't want anything to do with you, and yet you've still endorsed him, and you think that somehow they're going to stop attacking women? Well, apparently it doesn't matter to you because you're voting for Donald Trump. Oh, yeah, and she continues, and she's trying to give Republicans, MAGA Republicans, and Donald Trump some advice as if he's going to take it. Have a listen to this. They were right to denounce the comedian. They need to go and tell Puerto Ricans how much, you know, they do value them. They need to tell Latinos that. But they also need to look at how they're talking about women. I mean, the, this bromance and this masculinity stuff, I mean, it, it, it borders on edgy to the point that it's going to make women uncomfortable. You know, you've got affiliated PACs that are doing commercials about calling Kamala the C-word. Or you had speakers at Madison Square Gardens, you know, referring to her and her pimps. That is not the way to win women. That is not the way to win people who are concerned about Trump's style. This is a time to talk about the economy. This is the time to talk about immigration. This is the time to talk about national security. And this is the time to talk about Kamala Harris. Is this woman on drugs? Has Donald Trump ever done that? This is who Donald Trump is. And she thinks that they're going to change six days before the election. The imbecile, by the way, who's going to be who's supporting Donald Trump and voting for him. When has Donald Trump ever done any rally, had any speech where he just stuck to policy? He doesn't have policy, by the way, where he talked about the economy. No, he attacks Kamala Harris. Yeah, he'll talk about her. He calls her stupid. He insults her. Is Nikki Haley this stupid? I mean, I always considered her at times to be an educated, intelligent woman. Is she just lying? Is she this dumb? Donald Trump's been doing this for years. In fact, he's done it his entire life, and running for office never stopped him demeaning women based on their looks. A woman can't be a 10 if she's flat-chested. He's made sexual remarks about his own daughter. Five kids with three different women, a liable sexual abuser, 30 women that have come forward that have said he sexually abused them or raped them, and all of a sudden Nikki Haley is speaking for all the female voters out there? Well, it doesn't bother her. Oh, because I like some of his policies, she says. What an imbecile. I will never, ever have a drip of respect for Nikki Haley. She has no backbone. She's no better than a Kevin McCarthy, quite frankly, or a Mike Johnson. Oh, yeah, we'll get to Mike Johnson in a moment.